Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of Seeing Beyond and Through with Monty. Do you guys know this face here? Do you even remember this face? Well, this is one Jesse Lee Peterson, and I would try not to laugh about this story. Well, actually, it, nothing's really funny about it. It's just so ironic. Because if you can recall, conservative pastor Jesse Lee Peterson was very well known to be anti-gay, anti-LBGTQ, and he was very virulent in his beliefs. And he had made a name for himself by being this anti-homophobic, conservative, manosphere crusader. And he's like 70 years old. But as they say, what's done in the dark will eventually reveal itself in the light. So some men came forward and they revealed that they had had gay sex with Jesse Lee Peterson. And one of the men even came forward and stated that it had been going on for a 10 year period. Now here you have this pastor the so-called man of God, preaching against homosexuality. But yet he himself was engaging in the very acts that he was condemning. And do you remember they did a whole documentary, Surviving Jesse Lee Peterson, and all this, you know, um, it was all about his hypocrisy, how he would counsel men to bring them out of homosexuality. Remember that? And part of it had to do with him, you know, laying hands on the men and seeing if they got a reaction. And reportedly, if they did get a reaction, it would be a barometer of how or if they were even cured of their homosexuality. That's according to Jesse. But before I go on, I want to bring you this here. Because apparently... Jesse still has a congregation. He still has people who believe in him being a man of God. I know that's the part that I find kind of ironic and kind of funny after all this. He's inviting people to come to his Sunday service and worship with him, hear what he has to say. But I want you to take a listen, listen and look at this because in my opinion, and from what I am seeing, Jesse appears to be a bit tipsy. He appears to have, for some strange reason, uploaded a video of himself being intoxicated. However, I will allow you to judge that for yourselves. Live. Good morning. Welcome to church again. Fellowship time is here. And so listen, it's a beautiful morning. Windy and chilly. The wind coming from up north. But but beautiful sunshine in the morning, all right? It's supposed to last a way until Wednesday, we'll see. And so get ready for fellowship. We're gonna be dealing with the biblical question um of uh what was it? Uh well, why don't you have <laughs> why don't you have perfect peace? That was Chris. Sean. 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 <laughs> why don't you have perfect peace? Thank you for your support. I hope for you that this is helping your life to helping you to have a a life. Life is about having a life. All right, so I got to get ready. Check out the merch and all that. I'll thank you in advance. Uh, we got to get ready for the out there. So I'm going to give you back to Hake. Take your hate. Here's Hake. Oh, amazing. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's church time almost. Church with Jesse Lee Peterson in 10 minutes or less, really. Rebuildingtheman.com slash church. Let me show you guys 
Rebuildingtheman.com slash church is the Okay, so did you see Mr. Jesse Lee Peterson there? Didn't he appear to be a little bit happy to you? A little tipsy? A little out of it? Couldn't even recall the names of his co-workers. Couldn't even recall the service that he was going to do that particular day. And mind you, this was just about a week ago. Recently. Yes, this year. And um, he seems to be, what did he say? Here's, oh my gosh. So here we have a man who is in denial about his sexuality. And a lot of times when people are in denial about certain things and when they're struggling, they need an outlet and they'll turn to certain things. Sometimes people will turn to substance abuse. It could be alcohol. It could be drugs. Who knows? But it appears to me that Jesse has turned to something. And a lot of times that's used for a coping mechanism. But for you to be a pastor and you're inviting people to your house of worship and for you to release a video like that, it shows me that you're in a pretty bad state. And with the release of the video, you really have to wonder, okay, you had about two men there, two employees there, one of them videotaping you. Didn't someone think to tell him that, Jesse, this is probably not a good idea. Maybe we should wait and do it later after you perhaps sobered up. This is going to sully his name even farther because, I mean... One, you're claiming to be against homosexuality. You're engaging in those behaviors. You're intoxicated. You're showing up drunk on a video. That is not a good look at all. It does not make you look good. So you really have to wonder about these people, about these Christians who show up there for his Sunday service, who looks to him to be some type of a leader, a pastor, a man of God. You really have to wonder what is wrong with people. You know what? I would not show up at his Sunday service. I, me knowing his past, I just don't think that he could do anything for me at the moment. I don't look for perfect people, but he's one of the people I would not look to at all. And for those of you who want to judge and say, well, he shouldn't be judged. Well, didn't he judge people? Wasn't he saying that the life was wrong? Wasn't he saying that they're going to hell? They're going to be away from God, from Christ? He was judging people. He was judging them so much that he had a counseling service trying to get them out of homosexuality. Yet he was doing it. And let me just tell you one thing too. If you are going to upload, upload videos of yourself for worldwide consumption, Expect for people to download their opinion. No, you do not get a break from doing that. And Jesse, to me, if he's going to be that foolish at 70 years old, you're a pastor, preacher, whatever you want to call yourself. You're preaching the so-called word of God. Okay, maybe he is. I guess you don't have to be perfect to, to do that. Expect scrutiny when you do dumb shit. Expect for people to criticize you. Expect this. You should have known better. You don't release a video of you being intoxicated, being tipsy. It's foolish. It's reckless. And you're going to have people like me who will make videos about it, who are going to call you out about it. How much damage did you do to the gay community? How many people have committed suicide, or I should say unalive themselves based upon you teaching them that what they're doing is wrong, it's sinful, it's dirty, it's disgusting. They're going to spend eternity away from God. No, you deserve everything that you are getting in this video and more. I have no sympathy for this man at all. He chose to be a hypocrite. He chose to lie. He chose to uh, S.A., Men, and that to me is a form of, of SA. 
And the reason why I call it that is because these men are going to you for healing because they believe that they're doing something wrong. But they're going to Jesse for healing to get out of a certain lifestyle, to make themselves better in their mind, in their mind, and from what Jesse has told them. But here you have someone who they are looking up to taking advantage of their trust, abusing them. You really have to wonder, why isn't he behind bars? People who do stuff like that. That to me is a crime. But you know, I do not know what type of a following he had before the all this stuff broke out, before the controversies broke. And I'm sure that he's paying a price. The very fact that he is tipsy and drunk on a video tells me that he has a problem. I don't revel in that problem. I don't get happy at his problem. But it shows right there that he's not escaping any type of consequences. He's dealing with something. And let's hope that he finds a way. Stop all the counseling and maybe get yourself into counseling. Fix yourself before you try to fix others. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is another edition of Sin Beyond and Through with Monty. And I will see you all beyond and through.